Now, this is the place where we have fun while we learn. I am Ch Ch Charlie. And I am Janet. And I am Ma. Ra! Oh, Ma, that's such a big row. Well, yeah, I'm very excited about today's show. And that was a special <laughs> row for all my friends in the savannah. Okay, then. So, Marara has sent his shout out to his friends in the savannah. But for you watching us at home, we hope that you're going to have fun as well. I know, I know. And you can join us with Number Fun and Word Play with Teacher Pendo, Queasy with the Comprehension, and of course, we will be getting creative. So, with all that lined up, let's get the show rolling. First of all, let's go to the chill out zone and meet our friends. Come on. Hello, everyone. Hello. hello! Oh, all right. And a big hello to all of you watching us at home. Come on, everyone. Let's say a big hello to them. Hello! Hi. Hey, what about me? Hello, Maya! We are very glad to have you here helping us with today's show. We are going to have a lot of fun. So, to start off the fun, let's see, uh, B Dan. Please tell us what today's show is all about. It's about position and direction. Wow! Now, that is a big topic. Well, no, 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 don't worry about it, Marara. We're here to help. That's what the No Zone is all about. So, if the show is about position and direction, please tell us what the buzzwords are. Before, at, position, direction. Excellent. Now, Look out for these words throughout all of the fun today and in our next adventure. Wait, uh, Mara, did you write down the buzzwords? Oh yeah, I did, I did. And I know I'll hear some of them in our next show. Oh yes, you will, because we're going to find out what our friends are up to. It's time for the Playhouse. Is my hat too big, Daphne old girl? Nonsense, Anne Marie. That hat suits you just fine. Well, don't you say, promise? Uh, do you think these gumboots work? I don't think they look like proper tourist shoes to me. Promise? Why, I'd say I dress as the perfect tourist. Right, boys? First of all, could you girls stop talking like that? Yeah, you sound like a couple of old ladies. And you're making us late. We need to go now. What? We can't leave here before Mr. Zippo gets here. Why not? We don't need Mr. Zippo for the adventure we are going on. Yeah, and besides, have you forgotten that he likes complaining? He'll complain that we, we, we are playing too many games and getting him dirty. And wasting his time, which is what you girls are doing to us. Now, come on, let's go. All right then, come on girls. Hey! Mr. Zippo! Well, I see you come early today. Uh, we are actually on the way out. What? Out? I thought we agreed that you'd stay here so that I could read you some of my stories. Yeah, we waited for you, but the boys came up with the idea for us to go out to the woods. Huh? The woods? Ah, <gasps> uh, we'd love to stay, Mr. Zippo, but it's a bright sunny day outside. We promise we'll be back after our trip. Are you sure you want to go out there with those crawling insects and dirt? Well, there is grass where we can have a picnic and trees to play hide and seek in. Well, just be careful and don't go too deep into the woods. Otherwise, you might get lost. Ah, we won't. Come on, gang, let's go that way. Theo, are you sure? That place doesn't look safe. Remember what Mr. Zippo said? Oh, don't be such a spoiled spot, promise. Come on, let's go. Come on, promise. There's nothing to be afraid of. Gang, how much more are we walking into the forest? 
I'm also getting tired of carrying all these things. Relax. As soon as we get somewhere to put these things down, we'll play there. <laughs> oh, children. Oh, please don't be afraid. Oh, what big ears you have. Promise. Shh. But it's true. Yeah, but it's true to tell that to someone. My ears. <laughs> My ears. <laughs> My ears. <laughs> well, I won't lie. I was born with an abnormality called... Um, hairy and fitties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no need for that. I've heard that many times. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. <laughs> oh, so, where were you all headed to? Well, I was asking because it is easier for you children to get lost in the forest. <laughs> you didn't know how many times I've been lost myself. <laughs> See, I told you. Um, thank you, mister, but we know where we are going. Yeah, we always play in these woods. Really? How come I've never seen you before? <laughs> oh, what I mean is, uh, if I did, I'd have asked my children to come and play with you. <laughs> you know, they are about your age. <laughs> have you seen them? I'm sorry, mister. We haven't seen your children. Yes, and we must get going if you don't mind. Thanks for chatting with us. <laughs> uh, can we just breathe here instead? What? what? It's just, it's already getting too late to be going into the woods. And there could be other strange looking people or animals at this hour. I mean, do we really have to put ourselves in that position? What? Promise. After you girls made us wait for over two hours, there's no way we are not going. That place is filled with dangerous looking characters. Now, sit down. Let me tell you a story about a sly fox that I met. I had just arrived in Makutano area. Then, I decided to take a walk. Wow! Hey, are you sure you didn't scare that wolfman away? Well, even if I did, Zach, who knows? So believe me when I say, do not go there. Anything could happen. From Playhouse, this is Quizzy Quiz. What were the children pretending to be? The children were pretending to be tourists. What kind of animal did the sneaky man turn into? The sneaky man turned into a wolf. Where did the sneaky man attack people? The sneaky man attacked people in the forests. What an adventure! Did you all enjoy that? Yeah! I also enjoyed hanging out with Queezy. Now, I hope he at home answered all of his questions. Oh, definitely. But, you know what else? I'm thinking if Queezy had a quiz, it's time for us to have more fun with words, only this time with Teacher Pendo. That's right. It's time to have fun with words in... Cool Words! Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher Pendo. Welcome to Cool Words. Now, who can remember what we looked at in our previous lesson? Ooh, ooh, teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara. We talked about how to describe where things are placed in position. Now, today we are going to focus on direction. Now, let's look at these words. North, east, south, west. Now, these are words that we use to describe direction. I'm sure most, if not all of you, have come across these words before. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Now, a lot of people tell direction by looking at the position of the sun. It is important to note that east describes the direction of the rising sun and west describes the direction of the setting sun. Oh, 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 Pendo. Yes, Marara. Now, do you mean to say that the direction where I see the sunrise 
is the east and where I see the sunset is the west. That's right, Marara. Now, can you point the direction where you saw the sun rising this morning? Uh, uh, east. Aha, uh -huh, great, that's right. Now, I hope you all noted the direction Marara pointed to. It is important to tell the difference between left and right. Now, I would like everyone to lift up their left hand. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Now, let's lift up our right hands. Aha, very good. Now let's look at another form of asking where things are. Now I would like Marara to read for us this short story. This is a story about Hyena's grandmother. She has a big box. She keeps it in the kitchen beside the table. The box has all her clothes. And when she goes to visit her friends, she keeps the key to the box under her bed. Well done, Marara. Thank you very much. Now, to the questions. Where does Hyena's grandmother keep her box? Yes, Maria? In the kitchen. Very good. Now, where in the kitchen does she keep the box? Yes, Mevlin? Beside the table. Beside the table. Very good. Now, where does she keep her clothes? Yes, Abdimalik? In the box. In the box. Okay, very good. Now, where does she keep the key? Yes, Maxwell? Under the bed. Under the bed. Good oh, oh, work. Oh, Pendo. Yes, Marara. Now, I noticed that you are asking where does and where are and not just where is. That's a brilliant observation, Marara. I hope everyone at home also noticed that. Okay, so all these forms are all in the present. Where is, where are, where does. Now can somebody tell me what would change if we were talking about things in the past? So first of all, where is. Yes, Maria? Where was. Where was. Very good. Okay. And what about where are? Yes, Mevlin? Where were. Where were. Excellent. And finally, where does? Yes, Abdimalik? Where did? Where did? Very good. Excellent work, everyone. It's good to know that you know how to ask questions about position in both the present and the past tense. Well, be sure to join us later on for more cool words, but right now it's time to see what's happening outside with Maspidi. That's right. It's time for Out There. Hello, good people. I am so tired pushing my bike all the way from the other side of my village. First, I got the position and direction to where I was heading wrong. Wow, finally I am here. My friend here tells me that this is a very special place, that I'm going to have lots of fun as I keep fit. Come on everyone, let's go and explore this fantastic place. <laughs> this place is called Idili, located in Kahawa West. It is a place where people come to have fun relax and enjoy. My friends here are really having a good time. But what if they had to play a game that is really more challenging than this? Would it be easy for them to still stick together and play as a team? I have a big surprise for them. Shh, please. Today it's all about outdoor games. When playing outdoor games like the ones we have here today, one is advised to ensure safety first. And this includes taking certain precautions before and when playing various games.
And that is why we all have to have our helmet on. Just in case, you never know. Better be safe than sorry. My friend Kibai is an expert in doing this. He tells me that it is important to get not only a helmet, but also a helmet that fits you properly. We are so excited and can't wait to play. This is what we call the Mohawk Walk. It's a game that calls for teamwork and a lot of balancing and good communication. We are going to have two teams, Team Yellow and Team White. Ready now? Let's go team! It might look easy, just before, but when you start doing it, it's a different thing altogether. Look! <laughs> team White is really trying to hold up. When one member of the group gets to step down, they have to go back to the start point and the process starts all over again. That wasn't so hard, or was it? Let's now move on to the next challenge. This is what we call the swinging log. And as the name suggests, one has to balance and walk unsupported to the other end. And will Ian manage? Although he needs support, at least it's good he has tried. Who knows, with practice he will definitely get better. <laughs> oh, I really like this place. Let's move on to the next challenge and see how we will perform. Hey, are you afraid of heights? If you are, I am too. And I'm going to challenge myself today and climb this wall. We are set. Let's do this. From the base of the wall, your trainer has to support you by holding the safety rope for you. He also needs a helmet and a supporting rope. By using your toes and your hands, one gets to hold and step on the handholds to move up. This one is a hectic job. But I'm determined to go all the way to the top, so I'll keep on pushing. I am told that the secret here is to move up like a lizard. <laughs> Something I find very funny. Oh, but it's working. It's all about position and direction. <laughs> oh, I'm finally here. No zone forever. Higher you go, the cool it becomes. Goodbye, good people. Goodbye, see you soon! Bye! Goodbye. That was a very exciting trip. Well, thank you, Maspidi. Yeah, you know, Maspidi's trips are always a real highlight of our show. One day, we should get him to come into the studio and help us. Now, that would be so much fun. Now, maybe he would come and help our teams win the prizes. Oh, I'm sure one day he will. And speaking of games, right now it's time for us to get on, where we get to try on our number skills. Oh yes, it's time for our number game. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome! It's time to dive into the number pool and have fun with numbers! That's right, welcome everyone. Now today it's going to be about subtraction. Alright team, are you ready to play? Yeah! All right, so what you have to do is roll the dice. 
Now, once you roll the dice, you have to subtract the two values that are facing upwards. Now, in this case, the orange dice has numbers from 7 to 12. The pink dice has numbers from 1 to 6. So it would be 9 minus 2, which is 7. That's right. Then run into the number pool and find the answers hidden amongst the balls. Now, once you find that, you give it to Janet. Mm -hmm. Now, after your turn, you have to go back to your number team, tag the next team member, who will have to go up to Charlie so that they can roll the dice. Now, remember, you only have 30 seconds to roll the dice, figure out the solution, find the solution in the number pit, and take the number back to Janet. That's right. Now, if you get all the subtractions correct, you get to take away these fabulous books back to your school and of course we have a very special prize for each one of you now when you hear this noise you will know that you are out of time and for you watching us at home remember you can play along as well so number team i ask you one more time are you ready yes Ooh, let's hear that again are you ready Yes! All right, let's roll the dice. Maxwell, you're up first. Come on. Roll the dice. And he rolls. That is seven and three. So what is seven minus three? Four. Find the four, find the four. four. Find the four, find the four. 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 That's oh, it, take it, really take fast. Oh, find four, the very well. Member. Next team member. Mevlin, there you go, roll it. All and right. that's 11 and 4. Now, what is 11 minus 4? 7. 7. Find okay, the find seven. number 7. Come on, find, come on, find seven. 7. Quickly, Gio, quickly, Gio, quick, 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 quick. Find 7. Find 7. Do you see 7? Find 7. Looking. Can you see 7? Keep looking. Can come you on, find it? Yeah, Let's see how fast you can find no. it. No, no, no. Just keep no. Looking. Yeah. Yeah. Look, where your foot is. Oh. Move your foot, move your foot. There you go. Wait, wait. Can you find it? Oh, yeah, there you are. Wonderful. Tag the next person. Maria, there you go. Roll and Maria rolls, and it's uh, that is nine and four. Five. That's a five. 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 Yes, five. 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 Oh, five. Five. Oh, five. oh, that was really fast that too. Was brilliant. All right, Abdi Malik, there you go. And Abdi Malik rolls a nine and a one. All right, what is eight. nine? Eight. Find an eight. 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 Find an eight. Find eight. Find an eight. Find an eight. There you go. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, Time is up. Time is up. Let's see how everyone did. Now let's start with Maxwell. Maxwell, you rolled seven and three. Seven take away three is what? Come on. Four. Seven take away three is what? Four. Let's see if that's what you I don't gave know. us. Is, that well, what you is gave? it a four? Is it a four? Oh, it's oh, oh yes. Oh, well done. Maxwell, the next person to roll the dice was Mevlin. Mevlin, you rolled 11 and 4. 11 take away 4 is what? 7. Ooh. 11 take Ooh. away 4, are you sure it's 7? Yes. yes. Is that what you gave me? Yes. yes. But let's find let's out. Is it, is it, is it, is it? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, it's a 7. It's a 7. Good job, uh, so far so good. Maria, you were the third person. Now you gave us, uh, you rolled the dice and you got nine and four. Nine take away four is what? Five. No, it's five. 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 Charlie, you can't be that terrible. Oh, no. Charlie. Hey, hey, come hey, Charlie, hey. come on. Nine take five. away four is what? Five. five. Okay, let's leave Charlie out of this one. Oh, yeah. oh, it's you were right. right, you were right, they were right. Oh, they were these right. kids are awesome. Let's move on to the last person. Another nine. What's with the nines? Oh wait, wait. You know it's very, it's very careful. It's very careful. Uh, I think clearly. you are rolling with a plan. All huh? right, Abdi Malik. Nine and one. Nine take away one is what? Eight. eight. Nine take away one is what? Eight. eight. Did you right. find an eight there? Yes. Okay, let's see. Are we sure about that could be. It could be zero. You didn't give me anything. Yeah, I can't find anything. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Everyone, clearly you got all the sums correct. Now that can only mean one thing. Team Captain Maxwell, come on up. Congratulations, you and your team have won the books. There they are. Show them to the people at home. A round of applause. Yeah. Woo. Hey.
And that is not all. You win a special prize for me just for taking part. Come on, come on and get your prizes. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come and get your prizes. <laughs> Ooh. You suck at math. I suck at math. Oh. I'm sorry. But stick to spelling. <laughs> I'll stick to spelling. That was so awesome. The way she jumped into the number pit. I love it. Pretty cool. But right now it's time for us to go and explore our world. So let's go join Dunia on our world. everyone today we are learning about a wild animal how well do you know your big cats can you guess which cat this is is it a cheetah a leopard or a lion it is a leopard did any of you guess cheetah well i am going to tell you how to spot the difference leopards have different spots they have black markings around yellow spots, whereas cheetahs have a spotted coat. The leopard's face is mostly spotted. However, the cheetah has black tear stripes that stretch from the corner of the eye to the side of the nose. Leopards have spots on the end of their tails, but cheetahs have stripes. The cheetah is a slender cat and is built for speed. They are very playful creatures. They also have a good sense of smell, so they use their noses to find food and also try to identify what something is. Like this safari car. Baby cheetahs are called cubs and are usually found close to their mothers. The sound made by a cheetah cub sounds more like a bird chirping, and so the noise is called chirping. Can you see the fur on its back? This shows that this is a very young cub. As it grows older, it will begin to lose this fur. So this is a good way to guess how old a cheetah is. Mother cheetahs do all the hunting for their family. They usually have about five cubs, but this mother only has one surviving cub with her. She will spend her days protecting and feeding her cub until it can look after itself. This is a tough job in the wilderness. The cheetah's excellent eyesight helps it find prey during the day. Cheetah cubs can stay with their mothers until they are one to two years old. Here is an older cub still with his mom. You can see there is still a bit of hair on his back, so he's not yet a full adult. The cub is old enough to watch his mom hunt and maybe even help. He knows he needs to learn how to catch his own food, and soon he will be on his own. When a cheetah sees something it wants to catch for dinner, we call that animal her prey. So she begins to stalk her prey. Stalking looks like this. She creeps up to the animal quietly, trying to stay hidden. She lifts her head high to keep the prey in sight, but keeps her body hidden in the long grass. The cheetah is hard to see because its spotted coat blends with the tall, dry grass of the plains. The cheetah is the fastest mammal on land and can reach speeds of 112 kilometers per hour. But they can only run that fast for about 20 seconds. When close enough, she makes a lightning dash for her prey. She knocks the prey to the ground 
and then bites its throat. And dinner is served. After a chase, a cheetah needs half an hour to catch its breath before it can eat. Cheetahs like to perch on high ground so they can see above the grass and watch the other animals while they plan their hunting method. But also, they can keep an eye out for predators that may harm them or their cubs. Um, this cheetah has taken her lookup job to the extreme. Hope she knows how to get down. See you next week for a new adventure on Our World. Bye! Our world is actually very, very cool. Don't you think so? Yeah! So after all that, we are going to take a short break so that we can catch our breath. But do not worry because we still have a lot more fun coming up. Am I right, Marara? Oh, yes, you are right. And we still have number fun. And what play with Teacher Pendo? Quiz is coming back later. And another game Mama, that we are going to... And do not forget the story. Oh, yes. How could we forget the story? <laughs> so with all of that coming up, please go take a break. But be right back for more fun, more games, more learning right here on The Nozo. Hello. Now, as you know, this is the Nozo. And as always, we have a lot of fun while we learn. Now, do you remember everything that you have been learning so far? If not, do not worry because we have something very special just for you. Now, we have a free fun-packed booklet that comes with everything we have learned throughout Term 1. The question is, do you want one? And if you do want one, all you have to do is just ask your parents to help you send us a text with your name and address to 30606. So do not be left out. Come on, get on texting on 30606. Oh man, I missed a spot. What? Did it's not clean. It's not clean. It's oh, not right. clean. Wait, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. You missed another one. Where? Yeah, there, there, there. There? Yes, yeah, there, yeah. There. yeah. Welcome back to the Nozone. We are so glad to have you here with us. Are you glad to be here? Yes! Awesome. Now, today's show is all about position and direction. Do you remember what the buzzwords are? Yes! Okay, now, why don't we remind ourselves what the buzzwords are? Before. At. Position. Direction. Now, remember to look out for these buzzwords throughout today's action-packed show. <laughs> Alright, now we all know what that sound means. It means that Tisha Pendo is waiting for us in the learning zone with more number fun in... Hot Numbers! Hello everyone. Hello, Hello Welcome to Hot Numbers. Last week we learned how to take away and today we will continue with subtraction. Oh yeah, and I really liked how you told us we can also count up in subtraction. That's good to know, Marara. Now why don't you remind us how we can take away counting up? Oh yeah, okay. Now, for example, mm -hmm. 21 take away 16. So I will count up 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Those are five steps. So my answer is five. That's correct, Marara. I like it when you listen and especially when you all remember what you learned. Now today we will learn how to subtract using three digits. What? Three digits? Now, that sounds really, really difficult to Japan, don't 
Don't worry, Marara, it's really straightforward. We use the same column method to subtract. The most important thing is to remember to put your numbers in the right column. Now let's look at an example. Now on the board, I have four sums. Okay, now my four sums are arranged in columns. Now the most important thing to note is that each number is in the right column. Now my first ones are the ones, my second column is the tens, and my last column is the hundreds. Now we are ready to subtract. So we start from the right, the ones. So what is five take away three? Oh, did you pay, no? Yes, Marara. Uh, can I help with that? Okay, try this sum then. You're going to tackle this sum, Marara. So what is five take away three? Um, two. Two, very good. All right. So let's move on to the tens column. Mm -hmm. Seven take away two? Seven take away two is uh, five. Uh-huh, excellent. Well done. Okay, now move on to the hundreds column. Three take away nothing. Oh, that's easy, teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara. Nothing. Uh, Marara, just have a look again. Oh, oh, oops. sorry, teacher Pendo. Um, that, that must be three. Mm -hmm. Very good, you're right. So three take away nothing gives us three. So our answer is 352. Now, do we all understand the column method? Yes. yes! Very good. Now I have some other sums here. So let's tackle this one. 476, take away 64. Okay, now we start with the ones column. So what do we do first? Yes, Emmanuel? 6 minus 4 is equals 2. Uh -huh, very good. 6 minus 4 gives us 2. Excellent. Let's move on to the tens column. 7, take away 6. Yes, Naima? 7 minus 6 is equal 1. Mm -hmm, very good. All right. And the hundreds column, 4 take away nothing. And please be very careful. Remember the mistake Marara made here? So, yes, Faith? 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. Mm -hmm, very good. Well done. So our answer is 412. Well done, all of you. Now let's look at the next sum. 433 take away 22. Okay, now we usually just subtract from the ones to the tens and to the hundreds. So what do we do first? Yes, be done. Three take away two is one. Mm -hmm. Three take away two is one. Well done. Okay, move on to the tens column. What do we do next? Yes, Emmanuel. Three minus two is equals one. Mm -hmm, very good. Three minus two gives us one. Okay. And here's the tricky part, the hundreds. Four minus nothing gives us what? Oh, oh Tisha Pendo. Yes, Marara. Let me do that. Mm -hmm. Four minus zero is four. Aha, well done. Absolutely right. So we get 411. Okay, now we have another sum on the board. Now the last sum here, now I want you to tackle it using the pen and the paper in front of you. So let's tackle this 269, take away 154. So let's tackle this. And remember to start from the ones, then to the tens, and then finally the hundreds. Okay. So 269 take away 154. Okay. So let's see how you fared. Faith, let me see what you have. Okay, show everyone at home what you have. Very good. Marara. Can you now talk us through what exactly you did to get 115? We started with the ones. Okay. So nine minus four is five. Mm -hmm. Do we do next? Then we move on to the tens. Mm -hmm. So six minus five is one. Very good. Next, what do we do? And mm -hmm. finally, two minus one is one. 
Well done. That gives us what? So the answer is 115. Good work, everyone. And how did you get on at home? Why don't you keep practicing your subtraction? Now, Teacher Pendo? Yes, Marara. That was a really, really straightforward sum. Well, that's good to know. Well, sadly, we're out of time for today's Hot Numbers. Be sure to join us next time for more fun with numbers. Right now, though, it's time to get creative. It is Creative Zone. Welcome to Creative Zone. Now, today we're going to dive straight into it because dancing has become my favorite hobby. I wonder what Doty has for us today. Wow, Doty, that's really beautiful. Thank you. I can tell the tune is from the coastal part of Kenya. Yes, it is. What's the name of the dance? The name of the dance is Chakacha. All right, you had her. Let's get this show on the road. For you at home, have fun as you learn. And to our viewers watching us from home, we'd love you to join into what you're going to be doing today. Chakacha is a very, very simple dance. You can't afford to stay seated. And the show with me today, I have a set of beautiful, beautiful dancers who are going to help me take you through the dance step by step. The first thing you need to do is pierre, that is just bend your knees a little bit. The second thing we're going to do is move our waist beginning from the right to the left and we're going to take a count of eight. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next thing we're going to do is repeat the same set of moves, this time facing the opposite direction. Dancers, five, six, seven, go. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are going to repeat the same set of moves again. This time, go down a little bit as you dance. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, put your right hand on your waist. Dancers, let's demonstrate. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we are going to take you through a small routine accompanied by our lovely musicians. Five, six, seven, go. Hope you had an amazing, amazing time joining in. We are going to leave you with Janet, Charlie, and Marara in the chill out zone as my dancers and I continue to dance. Five, six, seven, go. You know, I love the creative zone because there's always something interesting to do. I agree, Charlie. And you know what? One of these days we should take over the creative zone and show off what we have. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Um, can I help? Ah, oh, come on. Marara. You know we're a family. We can't do it without you. Oh, Charlie. Ah, oh, you know thank you. Ah. Fist bump. Ah. <laughs> All right, stop, boys, because right now it's time for us to get ready, get set, and get our brains running for the biggest spelling challenge in Africa. That's right. It's time for spelling. Animal, animal, chapter, building, narrow, building. respect, respect. respect. deep, vegetable, work, work. work. Welcome to Spell It! Now, this is the place where we play with our words and our letters. Naima, Faith, Emmanuel, and Bidan. Now, you are about to step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to compete for the title of today's Nose on Spelling Champion. Now, that's right. The winner of today's competition will win the school a Nozon Dictionary and a very special prize for themselves. Now, each contestant has just 25 seconds to spell correctly as many words as they can. If you would like a word repeated, simply say repeat and the word will be repeated for you. Are the rules clear? Yes. Are the rules clear? Yes. All right, now all of today's words will be coming from our topic of... Position and... Direction. Naima, you're up first. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Tick, 
tick-tock, tick-tock, tick. Now tick, tick. your 25 seconds starts now. Up. U-P. Down. D-O-W-N. Right. R-I-G-H. Cor corner. C-O-R-N-E-R. -E Direction. D-I-E-R-E. C T E O N. Over. Oh. Well, right, done, well, well, well done, Very well done. Faith, it's your turn now. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Tick tock, tick tock, tick. Faith, your 25 seconds starts now. Fa. Fa. F A R. Near. N E N. E-A-R. Inside. I-N-S-I-D-E. Below. D-E-L-O-W. Through. Through. T-H-R-O-W. Last. N-A-S. All right. Well done, well, well done, Faith. Well done. All right. Emmanuel, it's your turn now. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Emmanuel, your 25 seconds starts now. Where? W-A-Y. Here. H-E-A-R. Outside. O-U-T-S-I-D-E. -E. Beyond. B-E-Y-O-N-D. Across. A-C-R-O-S-S. -S. And. A E. All oh. right, very well done. Oh. Well done, Emmanuel, well done. All right, Bidon, it's your turn now. Come on down, step in the spotlight. Bidon, your 25 seconds starts now. At 80. After. A F T E R. Left. L E F T before B O F E R position P O S I T I O N. Oh. All right, be done. Oh, done. Very well done. Well done, all of you. Charlie, yes, sir. Reveal the scores, please. All right. I will start with Naima. You spelled four words correctly. Let's give a round of applause. Well done, Naima. So the score to beat is four. Faith, you spelled four words correctly. Let's give a round of applause. Next up, Emmanuel. Five words spelled correctly. Let's give him a round of applause. And finally, Bidan. You spelled one, two, three, four. Four words correctly. Let's give him a round of applause. Which means that the winner of today's Nose on Spelling competition with five words spelled correctly is Emmanuel. Step forward, Emmanuel. Congratulations. You are today's No Zone Spelling Champion. This is your dictionary. Now, show your dictionary to everybody watching us at home. Another round of applause. And congratulations to all of you for spelling so many words correctly. And for that, you each get a storybook. Come on up and get a storybook. Come on up. Good morning. Now, after all of that excitement, I think it's time for us to take a break, don't you? <laughs> yes, Charlie, and I just have the perfect idea for that. It's time for us to join Stapendo so that she can show us how much fun we can have with words. It's time for Cool Words. Welcome back to Cool Words. Now on the board, I have a word search. It contains words that have to do with position and direction. The words go across, down, forwards, or 
backwards. Now, once you have found a word, you will make a sentence using the word. Are we all ready? Yes! Please join in at home and try to find these words. Now, who would like to go first? Yes, Maxwell? I found the word before. Before. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Before. All right, so here we have the word before. Marara, can you give us a sentence using the word before? Oh, yes, teacher Pendo. Go right ahead. You have to pass the supermarket before you get to our school. Great. Who's next? Yes, Maria? Direction. Direction. Okay, we have direction right here. So give us a sentence using direction. People sometimes use the position of the sun to show direction. Okay, someone else with another word? Yes, Mevlin? After. Mm -hmm. Musa was sitting under a tree after break. Very good. Someone else with another word? Yes, Maria? Position. Position. Position is right here. Oh. Okay, so give us a sentence using position. The scouts were standing in position ready to host the flag. Very good. Okay, give us another word, somebody. Oh, 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 Chipendo. Yes, Marara. The man was standing uh, uh, at the... Uh, Marara, you first give us the word, then the sentence. Oh, sorry, Teacher Pendo. Mm -hmm. At. At. All right. I see it right here. Uh-huh. The man was standing at the top of the stairs. Excellent job, everyone. You've all worked very hard. Now, did you spot any other words to do with place and direction? Why don't you all practice writing sentences using these words? I hope you'll join us next time for more cool words. Right now, let's sit back and enjoy another story. This is the story of Ngamia the camel. Ash and Saif liked to play outside. Schools had closed for the holidays, so they would play from morning till evening. One day, Asha and Saif were playing with the ball. Saif threw the ball to Asha, but she could not catch it. The ball went over the fence. Asha said, Saif, don't throw the ball too high again. It might get lost. Please go and get it, Saif said. Okay, sorry. Safe came back very quickly. He did not have the ball. Asha asked him, where is the ball? Is it lost? Safe said, I have seen a very big animal. Asha asked, is it an elephant? Safe said, no, I have never seen such an animal in my life. Asha said, why don't you show me where the animal is? Safe took Asha to the fence and pointed at the animal. Asha knew the animal. She told Saif, It is a baby camel. But how do you know it's a baby camel? asked Saif. It is brown and it has a long neck, long legs and big eyes, answered Asha. I have never seen a camel here before, said Saif. I think it is lost. Let's take it home, said Asha. Asha and Saif's parents were busy cooking lunch in the kitchen. The children used the back door of the house to get in with the camel. They took the camel to their room. Asha used her hairbrush to clean the camel's fur. Saif tried to climb on the camel's back, but he was always falling off. At lunchtime, Asha and Saif were called for lunch. They tried to hide the camel under the bed, but the camel was too big to fit there. They finally left the camel in their bedroom and locked the door. Can we eat from the bedroom? They asked their mother. Their mother agreed and said, make sure you finish your food. In the bedroom, Saif asked, can we share our food with the camel? It looks hungry. Asha said, no, camels eat grass and leaves. Let's eat quickly. After that, we'll get grass and water for it. The children finished their lunch quickly and went to the kitchen. They washed their plates and spoons. After making sure that the camel was safely locked in their bedroom, they went out to look for grass in the cow shed. Saif carried the grass, Asha carried clean water in a bucket. The baby camel ate the grass and drank the water. After a short while, it lay on the floor and slept. 
If you want to know what happens next in this story, join me next week. From the Story Zone, this is Queasy Quiz. How did the friends find the baby camel? They found the baby camel while they were looking for their lost ball. What do camels eat? Camels eat only grass and leaves, not human food. What else did the children give the baby camel to make sure it was happy? The children gave the baby camel water just to make sure it was happy. Hello. Now, as you know, this is the nozzle. And as always, we have a lot of fun while we learn. Now, do you remember everything that you have been learning so far? If not, do not worry because we have something very special just for you. Now, we have a free fun-packed booklet that comes with everything we have learned throughout term one. The question is, do you want one? And if you do want one, all you have to do is just ask your parents to help you send us a text with your name and address to 30606. So do not be left out. Come on, get on texting on 30606. Oh man, I missed a spot. What? Did it's not clean. It's not clean. It's oh, not right. Clean. Wait, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. You missed another one. Where? Yeah, there, there, there. There? Yes, yeah, there? yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> you know, I really enjoyed that story. Not just because it was fun, but also because Quizzy's quiz is going to help me remember it until next week. <gasps> Charlie, you just said next week. What? Is the fun over already? Oh, sadly, Mara, we have run out of time, but the fun doesn't stop here. Well, of course the fun doesn't stop. And to our friends, did you all enjoy that story? Yes! So be sure to join us right here next week on The No Zone for more fun and learning and dancing and singing and... And so much more! Come on, everyone. Let's say goodbye. Bye! Bye.